sura ya pili chapter 2 pasta na soma mpaka 11 verse 1 up to 11 lakini sitasoma hadi tano tunaishi hapa ndio pasta says we will read only one up to 5 lakini tunasikia hapo kwenye pasta naishia katika 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 somo letu la leo vile nasema katika siku zile amri zikatoka kwa Kaisari Augustino ili majina ya watu wote katika dunia yaandikwe mbili yake amesema maandiko haya yalifanywa kwa wakati ule ulo alipokuwa mtawala wa Suria tatu yake amesema na watu wote walikwenda kuandikwa kila mtu kwa mji wake ina yake anasema na Yusufu vile vile aliondoka Galilaya toka mji wa Nazareth akapanga kwenda wapi kwenda Yuda hata mji wa Daudi uliyoitwa Bethlehem kwa sababu alikuwa wa jamaa la kizazi cha nani cha Daudi kama yake anasema aandikwe pamoja ili aandikwe pamoja na Maria aliyepatana kuwa mke wake naye ana mimba mhm tuache pale amen bo maandiko matakatifu tunayosoma hapa inatueleza mambo mengi kuhusu jambo la kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo the thing that we have read here it tells us about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ na jambo ambalo ningependa tuongelee kuhusu hii kuzaliwa kwa Yesu ni ambayo tuliendai to nini tunajifunza katika kuzaliwa kwa Yesu the major thing that i want to ask us to discuss is to discuss the why we Jesus was born mm, nini tunajifunza katika kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo about the birth of Jesus Christ eh ndio tunataka kuongelea tunajifunza somo gani ambalo limo ndani tunaokota nini katika kuzaliwa kwa Yesu the reason we want to study and know why Jesus was born kuna maneno mbili ambazo za msingi nataka tuangalia there are two things that are the major pillar of issues that we want to look at jambo la kwanza ni shida ambazo zilikuwa katika kuzaliwa kwa Yesu the problems that occurred during the birth of Jesus Christ jambo la pili tutaangalia katika haya utiifu ambao ulionekana kwa upande wa Maria kwa kuzaliwa kwa kumpokea Yesu kama mimba sio tu mahali inatokea utifu katika haya utifu Yaani ndio neno mbili tutaangalia tutachunguza huko kwa ndani. And these are the two things that we are going to discuss. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Mungu tayari? Yes. Nataka niwaeleze kabla niingilia haya maneno mawili. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba Yesu hakuzaliwa tarehe 25 wala 24 wala mwezi wa kwanza wala wa tatu wala wa nne wala wa sita. The birth of Jesus is not specifically known and it's not in December 25th 24th or first whatsoever. Uh, that's what we want also to look in. Yaani hatu celebrate kuzaliwa kwa Yesu leo. Ile Yesu akuzaliwa katika. And we don't celebrate Jesus that was born on 25th. Amen. Amen. Hakuna Biblia haisema kwamba to celebrate kuzaliwa kwa Yesu maana that siku ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu haijulikani katika Biblia and uh, the bible doesn't tell us that we should celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and there's not specifically in the bible stated somewhere that this is exactly the date that Jesus was born amen ninataka kaondoe hii mafikiri kama vile wa Kristo ambao unaamini Kristo i want to move this from your uh, understanding as Christians so that you can have a clear kwa kuwa kuna yule ambaye wako na celebrate kwa nyakati hii 24th au 25th ambao hata wapagani wasiomtua Mungu wako nje wana celebrate 
ni mwanaume ambaye alizaliwa siku 24 na 25 kwa wale ambao wanayo kuselebrea huko naye wanamuita Bernoe au wanamuita walimunome na Christmas kwa njia zingine lakini wakafananisha na Christmas maana Christmas ina inamaanisha Yesu za Yesu anayekuja kwa ukombozi lakini katika upagani wana celebrate that ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu haikutunikana ndio kwa maana kama wakristo hatu celebrate siku ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu maana hakuna anayejua hata waliokuwa hawakuishwa kwa wakati huo uh, as a christian we celebrate the birth of jesus uh, not because it's not created. we don't celebrate the birth of jesus we don't celebrate the birth of, of christ mm. because it's not specifically known exactly when he was born mm. on that time but the also pagans people who don't believe in the, the, in the christianity they also celebrate it they celebrate someone who was born on that time mm. and it has been their tradition and then it ended up being mixed up into the activities of today even when poteza watu waliwaamini ujio wa kristo alafu wakamwamini mungu aliyoita mitra ambaye alitokea kumizizi ya mimi ya baye alafu akakuja katika Europe Europe katika hali tunayo kujua kwa leo katika nje ya kipagani wanamuita yule mali ile ni hali ya kipagani kabisa haina cha kufanya na Yesu Kristo they celebrate somebody who was born it was a traditional something that was a god which they were celebrating in the middle east and it ended up coming into you then they started giving name like father christmas Yuri me and they said Klaus all those names they started coming up yani hiyo ni kipa gani mtu and that is really paganism amen amen ndio kwa maana wakati tunakuja mkanisa hatuje kuambia sababu ya 24th ya siku 25 24 maana Yesu hakuzaliwa 24 au 25 we come in the church not to tell you that Jesus was born on 25 or 24 Mm. Lakini kitu ambacho hatuwezi kukataa kama vile kanisa maana Yesu alizaliwa inajulikana katika historia ya Biblia Yesu alizaliwa ndio hii ambayo tunalosoma katika Luka sura mbili mstari wa kwanza hadi 12 ambapo mtungaji amesoma na mimi nimewasomea katika Kiswahili hapo And we come to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ to remember to remember or to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ because it's written in the bible that mm. it was born as we read in the book of Luke chapter 2 1 up to 11 it tells us how he was born and therefore when he was born we commemorate na mtu mmoja alikuwa ananiuliza jana eti siku siku ya siku ya mwezi mungu bwana ananiuliza kwanza kwa nini namfanya service ya 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 24th au 25th ya christmas namwambia Yesu alizaliwa 24th au 25th So lazima tufanye service service ya Christmas to the fifth. So lazima sababu sio like yo that ambayo Yesu alizaliwa. Hai haiko kitu kingine. The sample they call the pastor to us in Bawai who didn't have services for 25th. Uh when other people were celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And he told them it's not specifically stated in the Bible that this was on 25th. On 24th that Jesus was born. Mm. Therefore we should not be we should be there that we celebrate that he was born this time and then hold the services. Ukisoma injili ya Luka tunaosoma ishirina ni sura ya pili. Biblia inasema wakati Elizabeth aliyepokea alipo, alipo, mimba ya Yohana Mbatizaji mwezi wake wa sita wa mimba. Wakati Maria alimtembelea hapo ndipo Maria alikutanana na Roho Mtakatifu na maneno yamemwambia utachukua mwana utabeba mwana ukisabia huyo mwezi wa sita kwenye ali tukuaga mimba unalinganisha na tarehe 25 24 wana celebrate doesn't match hakuna hapo hakuna miezi miezi tisa ya mwanamke kuzaa yani ni confusion total you see when you look at the bible tells us that here that when uh, Mary mother of Jesus went to Elizabeth Elizabeth Mary Elizabeth was also she was she had conceived John the Baptist mm. who was seven months by then six, six months six months mm. so from there when if you count from six months because we say 
in a normal uh, a woman has to conceive for nine months. And if it's nine, from there you count, it doesn't even come to twelve. That would be six months. Hallelujah. It doesn't work, you understand? Mm. So if it was that he was six months, then from there, counting, because when you read in the book, in the Bible, you go back in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the days of the birth, when they calculate from there, it's where they start estimating. You find some people celebrating it in January, mm. some people celebrating that, they, okay, it was from the time of Passover when he died, it's the same time he was born, so they calculate differently. But when you come there, when you see from the, when six months we talk of from there, you find that it doesn't write with the 25th or the of the same of the celebration. Amen, amen. Eh? So, lazima tuanete injili ya ukufu, ukufu wa Christo, so injili ya tradition za kidunia. We bring, so that we have to bring this to your life, so that you know the real truth or the real gospel. Kwa hiyo wa Christo, kwa hiyo wa Christo, this reason fellow Christians. Sisi kutanana iwe ni Saturday 24th, iwe ni 25th, iwe ni tarehe 29 siku siku ya inga, iwe ni tarehe tarehe 25 siku ya 6 au siku ya 5. Tuongee kwa ajili ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo. Utoshe mafikiri kwamba tunakutanana sababu Yesu alizaliwa hiyo siku. When we meet, uh, we talk about the birth of Christ, let it be Saturday or Friday. But mm. Move it from your mind that we are not celebrating exactly what people are celebrating outside that Jesus was born on 25th. Uh, he was born on 31 30th of August. August. Yes. I don't know this because I was born when there was a star. Sometimes they say there was a moon. The, the date which is in your eye that the date. You have a date there, that date. I that date I can just assume I put there because I don't know which particular date is there. Amen, eh? Amen. We got out of the person. I have a twice that was super can see you. Eh, your mommy and sister were getting married when we were born. They come, there was a great person. Amen, amen. In Yashi of Hua. Yeah, you're telling me, Sema. Kila mtu mwenye tunafanya tuna celebrate tunaona watoto wakifanya forces day tunakumbuka kuzaliwa kwa watoto sababu tunajua date ambayo mtoto alizaliwa siku ambayo mtoto alizaliwa lakini mtoto ambayo haujui siku alizaliwa uta celebrate kuzaliwa kwake na ujue siku alizaliwa so like when we celebrate the children their birthday we know exactly which day they were born but how will you celebrate the birthday of a kid which you don't know the date mm. when he was born or when she was born? It's, mm. it's completely uh, useless. It's all different. Kitu kimoja kanisa kitu kanisa 